Ladies on Reddit, what was the dumbest thing a guy said after sx? I have a tattoo of the world on my back. This guy was eyeing me doggy style and pulled out to come on my back. He then exclaimed. Whoa. There's a tsunami in Australia. I fell on my face laughing so hard. Oh boy. I was hooking up with this guy in his on-campus apartment. Which he shared with his brother. Brother wasn't home. So we were doing the do with the bedroom door open. Not smart anyway. Brother comes home in the middle of it. Sees straight through the hallway into the room. He fumbles around and then leaves. I'm embarrassed and kinda want to get out of there but he wants to finish so I think what the hell. His brother left anyway so why not. I wonder if he's close to coming so I ask. Are you close? And he responds with. Yeah. He said Alexa. Play your welcome and the speakers from each side of his bed began to serenade us with Dwayne The Rock Johnson's voice as Maui from Moana. I gave a dude a blowjob and apparently he'd never come from one before. Who knows if that was true. Anyway. After he goes. Oh my god. That was amazing. I thought there was something wrong with me. You need to have daughters. Yes. My mother taught me about SX. Birth control. And how to suck dick. This one is kind of the reverse since I'm a guy. But I was eating my ex out under the covers and in the dark with just my TV on. Just how she liked it or I must be ugly. IDK lol. Anyway so I went to go kiss he and fool around some more. She took one look at my face and said. Babe I think I'm on my period. My dumbass asked why. It tasted a little odd but I wasn't very experienced yet. I've said a lot of stupid. The worst was probably do you like egg sandwiches? It's a full brain reboot. Sometimes programs load up to desktop before we have a chance to close them. He told me. With all the sincerity in the world as some weird compliment. You would make a great single mother. Why in the name of the ancient would he say that? Mind if I hit this? And then he pulled out of a pen he'd hidden under the bed. My bed. Specifically for this reason. Edit. He was not being ironic. He also dumped me four times, I was young and dumb, for a girl that lived in Norway. And used to bring a box of wine and an avocado to parties. Just for himself. He'd eat it while he tried to find people to fight. Eli. If you're reading this. Thanks for the reddit fame. I had sx with a guy I dated for a few months and afterwards he said your vagina is smaller than other vaginas I've had sx with. I just responded with thanks. I wasn't sure if it was a compliment. Criticism. A mere observation. Hey. Don't tell anyone about last night. I get enough for being vegan. A phrase that has stuck with me for 10 plus years. Not so much dumb as just cruel. I think I miss my ex. He played. I just had sx by the lonely island while on the phone with his best friend. With me still in the bed. And we just lost our virginities to each other. I was snuggling with my boyfriend in the afterglow and I looked up at him and asked. What are you thinking about? Thinking he would say something sweet. This bitch deadass looks down at me and says mudflaps. Edit. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this. My boyfriend had just bought a truck. So he was thinking about accessories a lot. I wasn't even mad. I laughed and then he laughed and we just laughed for like 10 minutes at the dumbness of it. Okay are we done? I guess he was too afraid to ask whether or not I came and that was his way of doing it. Me. Gives blow job. Guy. Did you come babe? His window was open during the deed and when we got done he closed it and said I really hope someone heard that. Wow I love my boyfriend but he says the dumbest stuff. Especially right after sx. Highlights include. You feel so dense right now. I've never felt more like there's a man lying on me. I have so many thoughts running through my head right now. I wish I'd learned more yo yo tricks. And when I told him to stop playing with my nipple. He didn't say it. But afterwards he grabbed his phone and went on a tracking up and tracked that he had sx that day. 
fitness isn't just a hobby. My boyfriend's brain goes into this weird hyperficus mode as soon as he comes so I'll be laying on him catching my breath hoping to continue the fun. And he'll blurt out something like I ordered some things to put in my yard to attract crows. I hope they like them. I've done a lot of research on attracting and befriending crows. But I wonder if they'd prefer something more like a game. Or some kind of water feature? Cuddling in the afterglow. Him gazing adoringly at my nude body. Whispers. I've just never seen boobs as small as yours. Edit. My goodness. Thanks for all the kind words from small boob owners and aficionados. Hoopsie daisy. He kind of dipped in. Nutted. Went to roll over to sleep. I told him I wasn't done yet. And his response oh. Okay. Do you want a back rub? I kind of wanted to come my dude but okay. I will add. I found out later his ex had depression and her medication made it so she couldn't org sm. So to make it even he would give her a back rub after. He was being nice. My ex-boyfriend said to me during our first and only SZL encounter my stepdad's home. Before he ran to his end suite bathroom to hide. He left me lying there naked and really ed. This definitely sounds like a setup for a PRNO. Not so much after but during. But the very first time I had sex with my ex, we were both virgins at the time. He straight up said are you feeling it now? Ma. Crabs. My partner will sometimes slap my ass afterwards and say good game. It always gives me a laugh. Edited to add. I told my boyfriend that this blew up overnight and all he had to say was you're welcome with a eating grin. My boyfriend has a quick draw problem. Which is honestly fine 80% of the time to me. It bothers him though and I cannot get the poor guy to stop saying sorry nearly every time. He's attentive in the foreplay. So it's really all good. But stop saying sorry. 2 seconds after you nut. Edit. Thanks everyone for the suggestions on using a numbing cream. Reiterating that I'm very content with our SX life and for those who mentioned I judge him. You miss 99% of my comment. Also. I ain't pray that my boyfriend never finds my reddit account. I'm a guy but I have a stupid one I'd like to share. So me and a neighbor were friendly and one night I slept over. We both still had to get up and go to work in the next morning but when the AM rolled around. We decided to squeeze in one more. Unfortunately for me. The climatic moment arrived right as I heard the sound of a large truck outside the house and the worst possible moment for post nut clarity popped up. I stopped moving and said to no one in particular. I forgot to take the garbage cans out for the trash trucks today. We don't talk anymore. Dumb. And I. I guess you can only so many people before you realize you still hate yourself. Did you sleep with Bojack Horseman? Years ago I, F, had a roommate best friend, M, who right after SX told his girlfriend he thought they shouldn't see each other anymore. I heard a thud and then a scream in a high pitched squeal WTF do you mean from across the house. He later told me he was going to tell her but she was in the mood and he didn't want to interrupt her. So he waited until they were finished. I was like dude. No. A guy once said you're welcome after he was finished. It was quick and so uneventful I was just completely shocked. Like thanks dude for eyeing me. I just started laughing and I never hooked up with him again. Wait. You ate Maui. That he wished I would let him play I just had sx by lonely island. I did this after losing my virginity. She wasn't impressed. Nothing. Hold the in phone. You mean to tell me that my man Ed and then went straight to League of Legends without breathing a word to you? Must be a Yasuo player. He smacks my butt and said good work team. Would you believe me if I said I actually enjoyed spending time with you? Uda. Dude tried to give me a compliment by saying you have plumpy pee lips. dude did not realize that was borderline weird to say I started laughing. I was cuddling a guy after sx one time and he told me he was leaking testosterone all over me. Are you a lesbian? 
got asked this from a FWB since I did not come and he thought of himself as a SX god so that was his logical conclusion. Edit. Thank you all for the responses. We were not FWB for long for obvious reasons and when I got the question I was so flabbergasted, and a little bit drunk, I just stuttered a no. I could have used you guys for a clever comeback. My response would have been well. My first time I said. Hum. Jesus Christ. That definitely haunts them at night. You don't feel like warm apple pie to which I said. How do you know what apple pie feels like? No answer to that one. I bet I just rocked your world. He did not. Edit. Thank you for all the upvotes and hilarious comments. You've made my terrible hookup feel worth it now. My ex belly laughed incredibly loud for like 30 seconds after we finished the first time. It turned out that climaxing just had that effect on him. It was cute and always made me bring my A game. I wanted to get a big laugh always. When we first started fooling around my husband used to say thank you afterwards. It made me feel like I was offering services instead of something we experienced together. I finally told him about it after a couple months and thank goodness I never heard it again. I know it's not as dumb as some of these. But it irked me and took away from the moment. New to SX me. Whoa. That was. Whoa. I think some my sweat dripped on your face. Huh? Dart. Up. Not dumbest but by far funniest. My husband. Back when we were dating. One night had asked for a handy. I was like sure yeah whatever. I started. And maybe a couple of minutes into it I realized I was set to end up with a mess and no way of cleaning without just running out of the room. I stopped and said brb. And ran to grab a box of tissues from the living room. We finish and I grab a tissue and clean my hand up and he gives me this stupid look and says guess those tissues really came in handy eh? I still laugh about it. It was dumb and personally I thought hilarious. Well one time after SX, while I was laying next to her, I pulled out my phone and sent her a dick pic. She picked up her phone, looked at it, and asked, Did you just send me a dick pic? To which I said, No. Not after. During. He stopped me while I was performing a nice act for him and he said wait. What was your name again? Eater from a comment down the thread. This was not a stranger. We were in middle school and high school together. Our graduating class was under 100. We had taken a couple college course together and had worked together on several group projects. The entire thing was absurd. I was less offended and more shocked that he thought that was a good time to ask. It did not ruin the day and I definitely laughed long and hard about it. After SX. My guy collapsed on top of me. When he pulled back. Our sweaty chest somehow made a small suction squelch noise. His romantic next words. Ha he boob farts. Dart. He laughed so hard at my reaction he snorted. One time my husband and I were doing the deed with me on top. He pulls me close. Puts his face in the crook of my neck. And as he came. He unintentionally made the most hilarious wet fart mouth noise on my neck that I have ever heard. If he didn't have such a grip on me. I would have literally fallen off from how much I was laughing. And then it got worse because he was laughing too. But he was still sort of in the aftershock of coming. Didn't move his mouth. And it became a mouth fart laugh. Which made me laugh even harder. It was so so stupid. But it still makes me smile. When I lost my virginity I cried and the guy just sat there and legit stared at me with a completely unconcerned look on his face while he was eating a giant peppermint stick. He at least offered me some of the peppermint stick I uh, Edit. I don't know why I cried. He didn't hurt me or anything. It was just emotional. And I cry when movies get to happy sometimes. I'm just emo like that I guess. Lol. Peppermint stick? Like a candy cane? Be honest. Did my mans have a big white beard? <laughs> Laying exhausted next to each other I patted one of my gf's boob and said good job. 
We are both Swedish and I said it in English which didn't make it less weird. For the future Emma fans. I was 9 months pregnant on top of my husband and he started really grunting so I thought I was doing a great job. Turns out I was crushing him and then he said death by snoo snoo. I laughed so hard. BF and I like to tell each other thanks for the SX. I am so whooper late to the party. But once a guy said to me after SX. I know you almost came. That's why I stopped so the bed doesn't get wet. I don't have the patience to make you come. Excuse me? I just spent 25 minutes or maybe more killing my throat and jaw by trying to get you off with only my mouth because you didn't tell me you didn't have any condoms. And also decided to be too lazy to get some by yourself like the adult you are. And you don't want to even touch me a little? This guy also asked me if I came after he had SX with me for 5 minutes maybe less without foreplay. It's okay to be bad at SX. It's okay to come quickly. But at least show your girl that her pleasure matters too. Damn. Edit. I guess I should add here that I am. Of course. No longer with this guy. The relationship was absolutely pitiful. But that kind of stuff looked normal to me because of my previous relationship that I can qualify as worse. I'm with a better man now. No worries. He said catch out right after coming was casually seeing this guy. We had sx for the first time and he goes you were my 10th. That's double digits. And high fived me. I. I high fived back. Speaking on behalf of an old friend who told me what a guy told her after they had. Am I a dad now? They were hidden in public. Hitting up a quickie which was when he blew inside of her three times and then delivered his famous last words. Total. Edit. He busted once. Sure three times. My bad. There is a big difference. Why are you as in Waluigi? I wish I were joking but it was a reference we have seen earlier. Wait. You are trying to distract me from the fact that you ate the last cupcake. Right? My boyfriend was drunk at the time and came inside me. As he was gearing up for round 2. He was using his hands in my vagina and exclaims oh god. You're so wet. That's unreal. When it was just his own semen. I fully regret dating this man. Alright. When my girl and I first had sx. I told her that she made me feel like a power ranger after we finished. She still laughs at it. Edit. How the heck is this my most upvoted comment? My ex once whispered. I killed Mufasa right in my ear. It wasn't even an impression of Scar. Not that that would have made it any better. Not a woman. But here's the dumbest thing I've ever said after SX. We were both really horny. She was in a particular mood where she wanted and demanded that we really hard. So after about 30 minutes of some non-stop pounding. We both flopped to the bed in exhaustion. After I caught my breath I wanted to make sure she was alright. I asked how she was doing. Using a tone that insinuated. Did I hurt you? She smiled and said yes. And like an idiot I said. I thought so. Your vagina is built for tough. Asterisk. There was a brief pause where we both took audit of just how stupid I am. And then she started laughing at me while I cringed and buried my face in the pillow due to embarrassment. She was a gem. Guy here. I'll just share the dumbest thing I ever said after sx. I was in a relationship with a girl who was a virgin, I wasn't. So we mostly just did mouth and hand stuff. We got each other off just fine. But it takes me for of it to org sm from a hand job or a blow job. So one of the first times we had sx. I predictably nutted in about 72 seconds. While I was still inside her after finishing. I felt the need to explain myself and looked her in the eye and said. Hey. Faster than when you give me a blow job. Right? She didn't answer. Almost 20 years later. I still cringe when I remember that. They say others don't remember the cringy things you did in the past. But this. This she remembers. After a whole 3 minutes he had the audacity to ask if I came. No foreplay or anything. 
Reminds me of my lacunas's line and friends with benefits. SX with men. They're like. UNH. UNH. Baby say my name. UNH. I'm done. How was it? I'm a guy. For context. Last week GF spends the night. I'm raiding on Destiny 2. She does the stupid drop the towel challenge. Anyway we go at it instantly. Then after we are done I turn back at the screen and notice the voice overlay. Then it hit me like a line truck. And I say it out loud. I never turned the I'm mic off. Or bailed out of the raid group. She bursted out laughing while I just try to reach for the controller to turn off the Xbox. Edit. Since Avrianan is asking. It was Garden of Salvation. Already own 1000 voices. Anarchy. And Terrava. An X on and off again fling flew me to New York. We had SX and after he was like oh. About that thing I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah. I was going to ask you to be my girlfriend but you're just not my idea of an everyday partner. You don't like red wine or sports. More cute but a little dumb. Whenever we're done doing the deed he goes yup time to pee. Very important. From a comedian. I slept with this guy and him trying to be witty and cute goes you are almost beautiful. I responded I was almost going to you again. Will you marry me? We're still engaged a few years later. This wasn't after since we didn't because he said this. But he was standing over the bed. Flexing every muscle he had. I half sat up and was like what the are you doing? And he said trying to look as alpha as possible. I shut it down and went to sleep. No I did not see him again. My ex-girlfriend's dog would watch us have sx. All the time. Then he proceeded to tell me how his ex liked it rough. Real rough. What is it about good sx that makes me have to crap? I win. He was talking about number of org sms. What he didn't realize was I never came in a time we had sx. I'm a guy. But I remember one time my ex-girlfriend and I were having stoned sx and after we finished I was hungry and thinking of ordering a pizza. I wanted to say that the sx was good and ask her if she wanted pizza too. But instead of that was great. Pizza? What came out was. That was great pizza. One guy leaned over and left 25 cents on my bedside table. He was very lucky I thought it was funny. I wish you were skinnier so I can see my penis hit your stomach. Good gravy I am so in love. Do you take visa? Okay so my wife will take this from here. Hey y'all. So my husband didn't want me to share this but after a bit of convincing he's okay with it. After quite the eventful act after sending the kids off to mum and a lot of wine. After he came he audibly went zooey mama that was good me not understanding the reference left me confused on many levels. But the next day asking him about it and him literally facipaming. Shamelessly having to explain a silly meme he once saw. Edit. I just had to explain to my wife why my UN and PFP are related to daddy addy. That was fun. I'm a guy and this isn't too crazy but I'll share. I had been extremely attracted to this girl in our friend group for a very long time but I always considered her out of my league. One night after leaving a club we shared an uber home cause we both were leaving early but I ended up going to her house and we had sx almost immediately. I was still a bit drunk but remember the very first thing I said was I've wanted that for so long which I guess isn't the weirdest thing I could have said. But it was her response that I'll never forget that made my comment feel so weird. She paused for a good 5 seconds and said that's nice she drove me to my car the next morning and we didn't speak much after that. I said. You smell like trout. It's still brought up nearly a decade later when my wife wants to throw my judgement into question. You said that to your wife after sx. There one this guy that I met only for close friends on facebook. We never talked and one time suddenly he did it after 5 years. I didn't talk to him cause I wasn't interested you know. We became closer and he told me he wanted to have sx with me and blah blah idk how I ended up in his house cause I'm so impulsively stupid. 
It was my first time but I didn't feel anything. I was there lying next to him and he asked me how it was your first time? And I was like idk. Cause I actually didn't know what to say cause it wasn't good and then he just said wow. That's why some girls are getting killed I immediately thought this bitch going to kill me but nothing happened I left his house and I talked to him. We had a fight and we haven't speak again. I think what he said is not dumb the dumbest thing is me for just going. I don't want to have sx never again. I'm the guy and it wasn't so much what I said but what I did. We just finished doing the deed and she was laying on her back and I was on my side facing her. Then. Without thinking it through. I poked her thigh with my dick and made a smooch noise. We were both a little shocked and she asked me. Did you just kiss me with your dick? To which I responded. I guess I did. And for a second there I thought she was truly weirded out but she began we scream laughing so I just played it off like ahahari I'm a funny guy.